You don't have to look any further to see Chinese contribution to the British society. So when a wonderful friend of mine told me there is going to be a Chinese New Year of the Tiger celebration in Maystone Town Centre, I got curious and I want to take you along. My name is Mickey. Keep watching. Each year on the Chinese calendar is linked with one of the zodiac animals, with each having their own specific characteristics. February 2022 marked the beginning of the Chinese year of the tiger, and there were celebrations all over UK, including Maystone. Yeah. Well, you know, the Chinese have been in the UK and all over England, you know, for many, many, many years. And so, you know, uh, Chinese music is not unknown. It's a bit like, you know, uh, Chinese restaurants. Everybody know about that. Yep. So, but there is so much else to offer in terms of Chinese music. So, as, you know, the SOAS Chinese Music Ensemble and we have a drum percussion, we are always happy to bring 
to, to, to introduce the traditional music to a wider audience, but also to show that you know there is a lot more and there is there is a lot more happening, you know, both in China and in England, where you know there are lots of you know fusion and, and, and exciting new stuff happening as well. So you know we'll hopefully give you a taste of what traditional music sounds like, but at the same time we're going to get the opportunity to show a lot more. So this is the Chinese New Year celebration of 2020, the Year of the Tiger. Uh, this is organized by the Mason Culture Group uh, and Cohesion Plus, and is funded uh, by the uh, Mason Borough Council. Um, well, I mean, the, the, the purpose of Mason Culture Group is to, you know, to celebrate the diversion of culture in, you know, different culture in Mason. So we're very happy that this, this event has been, you know, been promoted and you know everyone can enjoy free um, entertainment oh, wow. thank you very much for this So Chinese opera is a very important part of our culture. So whenever it's a festival, especially the Chinese New Year, there's always going to be performance. Um, what I'm at today is a royal concubine, so called Yang Gu Yifei. And you can see it here, it's all red, which signifies luck and royalty. I have a jade belt here uh, that symbolizes my status. And obviously here is my fan, and it's all gold. 
gold and red, it's also lucky and fortune. Uh, that's especially fitting for the Chinese New Year and we'll have the peony. Uh, and the piece I just performed earlier is Gui uh, Fei so the, well, you could call it a drunken concubine, and she's visiting uh, the PNU Pavilion uh, and um, to meet the emperor of the night. So she was very happy, and uh, yeah, so that's my performance. <laughs> it's a very important part of um, what I do. So I came to UK when I was quite young, and that's really keeping me in touch with my heritage. Um, I don't do this normally, I have my other business, I actually run a business, uh, but this is something for my contribution to my community and the contribution to, to share the joy and share the culture uh, to a wider audience beyond the Chinese community as well. I am a Peking opera teacher as well as performer and I've been organizing events for about 20 years in, in England now and Jia Wei is one of my top pupils. She's been with me on and off for 10 years in fact so she's, she's one of my best pupils. I don't have many pupils because after all this is a, a niche interest of a niche. Uh, but I think it's great that, that I'm introducing this marvelous art, this, this unparalleled art, really, as far as performing arts is concerned, to the British public. And I've been uh, sort of uh, up and down the country for the, uh, since 2002, uh, uh, running an organization and going to communities and schools to give workshops on different aspects of of Peking Opera and I'm very okay. proud of the work. So is this the first time in Mason? Oh no, no, Mason's been very kind to me. Mason invited us about six years ago. So Jia Wei has been, has performed for Mason at least four years. And then another pupil performed and then she's back now. Each animal represents, or each animal year represents something. And it's usually something good, of course. And uh, the tiger, there are people called the tiger generals too, because they are very famous uh, generals of the three kingdoms. And so this year, in fact, I painted masks for uh, the tiger generals and uh, it was sponsored by a, a club. So we do have a, a very rich uh, kind of uh, uh, legacy. And I love sharing this with British people because, you know, it's, it's important for cultures of the world to get known and for us to respect each other and know a bit about each other. I hope this video was helpful and you've learned a thing or two about the Chinese New Year of the Tiger or even the Chinese culture as a whole. If so, please like this video. Please subscribe to come on my journey of experience. Thank you very much for watching and see you in the next one. Zhang Tian.